SOLIDWORKS Motion Analysis within its Motion Studies options will allow your assembly to recognize the physical interaction between objects and physics-related rules like gravity and friction and therefore make the objects behave as if they were interacting with each other as they do in the real world. However, for simple motion relationships like gears, cams and screws, the mechanical mates option is a simpler way to define these quote-unquote interactions. In this video, we will learn the basics of the screw mechanical mate by using a simple stepper motor to lead screw to flange assembly. If you want to check out how to use some of the other mechanical mates like the gears or cam mechanical mate, or even how to use motion analysis within a motion study, make sure to check the links in the description of this video. Just like it was pointed out in the gears mate main video, these mechanical mates are not simulating any type of physical contact or interaction between bodies. They're just a very simple way of telling SOLIDWORKS that when one of the bodies in a mate moves, the other body should react and move in a particular way. In the case of any threaded member like screws, there's three main options of how motion occurs between the screw component, any shaft with the threads on its cylindrical surface like an actual screw, a lead screw, a bolt, etc. And the nut component. Any component with a tapped hole, like for example a flange, an actual nut, or even a hole on a surface. The first one is where the screw element is still, and the nut element rotates, which makes the nut move along the screw's axis. The second one is when the screw component rotates without translating along its axis, and therefore a non-rotating nut moves along the screw's axis, like in this stepper motor to lead screw to flange example we're covering today. And the third one is where the nut element is still, and the screw advances while rotating, like it happens when screwing a screw into a wall. In this case, the wall would be the nut element. Technically, we could have a rotating nut that doesn't move up or down, that makes a non-rotating screw move in and out, but those applications usually require the nut to be mounted inside a bearing. So they exist, but they are not that common. So let's see how we set this up within SOLIDWORKS. We'll go to MacMaster and download a couple of the components for our assembly. We'll first look for a lead screw, something that allows us to see the motion pretty easily, like these fast travel screws. We'll get a 3/8, meaning there are 8 threads per inch, or what is the same, that the pitch, or the distance between crests, is 1 8th of an inch. And notice that we have two threads, meaning that each turn of the nut will make it advance the distance equal to two times the pitch. This distance is what we refer to as the lead. We look for a matching nut, and again, this really doesn't matter in terms of making the screw mate work in SOLIDWORKS, but we do want to always be consistent with the parts that we'll mate in real life. This means the same diameter, pitch, and number of threads. And finally, a stepper motor. And again, this really doesn't matter here, and we're not even gonna mate it properly, as this is not the focus of this video. In SOLIDWORKS, we open the files we just downloaded, a new assembly file in inches, and bring the stepper motor first, as this will not move, and then the round nut and lead screw. We'll create simple mates, which we've covered in detail in a previous video, specifically a coincident plane and a concentric face and an edge to attach the lead screw to the stepper motor's shaft. Again, we're just kind of gluing it here, not the point of this lesson. And we add another mate for the nut to be concentric with the same axis of rotation. We of course check that the threads of the nut and the threads of the screw align. We can do that by bringing the nut out of the screw and noticing that the threads we see on the top of the screw are going in the opposite direction of those on the bottom and that those on the bottom should match the threads of the nut. And you change the orientation of the nut if needed. And even though there's still a lot of freedom here for parts to rotate and move, we can add the actual screw mate we're learning about. Under the mechanical tab, we select the screw option and we select a face of the nut element and a face of the screw element. The options we get here are the number of revolutions per inch or the distance traveled for each full revolution. Since we know from our pitch and lead information that each turn will make the nut advance two times the one eighth of an inch pitch, we select distance per revolution and type two times one eighth. Then, we check that the reverse option is either on or off to make the mate work properly. 
Notice that if it's unchecked, the threads of the screw would be moving in the opposite direction to the nut, and that doesn't make any sense, since the threads of the screw are what move the nut. So in this case, we check reverse. And that is basically it. Let's see our three cases. One, if we make the screw unable to rotate, we can rotate the round nut to make it go back and forth. And this follows our right hand rule. Clockwise back, counterclockwise forth. Two, if we allow the lead screw to rotate, which is kind of what this setup with the motor is supposed to do, and lock the rotation of the nut by locking the concentric rotation, we can rotate the screw as if the motor was making it turn, and we would see the nut move back and forth. And finally, three, if we kind of forget about the stepper motor by suppressing that coincident mate, and in turn fixing the location of the nut, we can rotate the screw itself to make it go in and out, just like a regular screw would behave going in and out of the hole. And that's it. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to learn the basics of the other types of mechanical mates, such as gears and cams, or if you want to find the 10 minute lectures of other SOLIDWORKS topics, as well as other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links found in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.